Today we're going to go over the polyatomic ions. Um, these polyatomic ions with the compounds um, connected to them make things just a little bit more interesting in this chapter. So the polyatomic ions are basically when you have three or more different elements in one compound. You memorize them. You know what they all are. Come on. All right. So these are all the basic ones. At this point, you really should know what they are. All right? You should have them memorized. If you're still, like, if you got that quiz back last week and you're like, oh, I didn't, you know, I didn't get a couple right this weekend, really study it. Obviously, we have a quiz on Monday. But you need to know this stuff because of what we're doing today. All right? OK. So shortcuts to naming polyatomic ions. So oxo anions are polyatomic ions with oxygen. So any polyatomic ion with oxygen is what we're going to kind of be focused on today. Now the other thing about it is it's just the ones that end in oxygen, like not hydroxide. All right. So these are the kind of the ones we're going to be talking about in here. Um, sometimes the number of oxygen atoms changes. So you've memorized the polyatomic ions with the ending A-T-E. For example, what's sulfate? Two. Yeah, good. SO4 minus two, right? That's sulfate. Awesome. I need the other clicker if this isn't working well. There we go. Oop. Okay. So the ending ITE is used when you have one less oxygen than the ATE ending. So what's sulfite going to look like? SO3. SO3. SO3 minus 2. Charge doesn't change. The type of atom you're starting with, the, the sulfur, doesn't change. It's just the number of oxygens. All right? So what's nitrate? So what's nitrite? Are you starting to see why you need to know them really well? Because now we went from 16 to almost 32 polyatomic ions, right? Because you can do this for almost any of them. Phosphate, PO4 minus 3. Phosphite, one less, right? PO3 minus 3. All right, so you're like, all right, 32, not a big deal. Um, oh, okay, then there's one less oxygen than ITE. Then you have to add a prefix, hypo. So for example, sulfite was SO3 minus 2. Hypo sulfite is? SO2 minus 2. Yeah. SO2 minus 2. All right. So now we went up another 16. All right. And the last change to the polyatomic ion would be if you add an oxygen to the ATE one. So sulfate, we know, is still SO4 minus 2. If we add one more oxygen, we would have SO5 minus 2. And then to name this, we would add the prefix per, giving us per sulfate. Yeah, exactly. So you can have three extra options for most of the polyatomic ions, all right? So that adds a little bit of complexity to our naming. All right, which is the one that you memorized? CLO3. Yeah, B, right? CLO3 minus one. What was this? Chlorate. Chlorate. Good, chlorate, all right. So one more is gonna be what? Right? One more oxygen is per chlorate. One less oxygen is chlorite. Good. And then one less oxygen is hypochlorite. What if it didn't have any oxygen? Or what? Chloride. I think I heard it. Chloride. Chloride, right? That's the first thing we learned, right? The anything you take off the periodic table, if you change the ending of it, it's IDE, right? 
like sodium chloride, right? This isn't a polyatomic ion, right? This is just a regular ion. So if you think of it like this, sodium chloride, right? So that's what makes this a little bit tricky is if it's a polyatomic ion, you have to remember the one that you memorized and then you start changing or adding or messing with prefixes and suffixes and all that stuff. Okay, which of these two did you memorize? Yeah, the three, right? What is it? Bromate. All right, so what's BRO2? Yep, bromite. Bromite. All right, which of these FOSS things? The first one, yeah, which is what? Phosphate. Phosphate. Good, and then PO3 is going to be? Phosphite. Phosphite. All right, cool. All right, so you get the flow of this, right? It's not bad, but you need to know your polyatomic ions real well, and then you just have to memorize what the prefix is or the changes to the ending or both are. All right, once you do all of that, then you're good with this. All right. Okay, so... Take a moment, these are in your packet, right? Give them a try.